I'm Wade Summers. Uh, I'm the founder and inventor of the tire ball multiple cell inflation system. I was involved in off-road motorcycle racing for about 35 years and happened to be and am proud to be the father of Scott Summers, who is nine-time national cross-country champion and is quite well known around the world. This, this product was developed out of one of the more common reasons that my son would not win a race, and that was getting a flat tire at any point in the race, you lose so much time. So uh, there were many times when we'd be traveling home from a long event and we'd brainstorm, you know, what could we have done to improve the durability of the bike or rider performance or whatever, you know, and brainstorming this flat tire issue of how can we get the advantage of air and the adjustability of air without ha having to be concerned about a flat tire. The air that's in the contact patch in these individual cells, when you impact something, the cell deforms and reduces its volume and there is a corresponding increase in internal pressure. So it's a very progressive suspension component that's been added to a tire. And, and, and these are designed to fit uh, conventional tires and rims. So there's nothing ex extra special that you have to buy to take advantage of this system. If they're priced accordingly to the, the motorcycle and the ATV market, it would be around $150 a wheel. And that kit comes with additional cells, so if you do happen to flatten one or two, three cells, you will already have the spares needed to re-outfit the tire. We guarantee them for a year for any reason, even punctures. It, it, it initially is perceived to be an expensive product, and we're telling the consumer that we'll guarantee it for any reason, for a year. And if $300 additional cost to a vehicle isn't important enough for you to maintain a finished position that you might be in in a competition, I mean, if you get a flat tire, you're liable to use, lose 20 or 30 places. And have that happen a couple of times over a period of a year, and that $300 is looking pretty small.